I'm the assistant managing editor who's responsible for all the locally generated content that goes into the paper. So the probably the most important part of my job is um, to make sure we have strong front pages each day. So our, our A1 centerpiece and any of the stories that appear, that appear on A1, and also a lot of the planning that's done in advance for uh, the newspaper um, and for cantonrep.com. I work with the other editors of the section editors and their reporters, um, so a staff of reporters and editors, to plan and uh, report and write and edit and generate local content for the website and for the daily print product. One of the things that I do as an editor is I act as an advocate for the reader. Uh, so I ask the questions that I think our readers are going to be interested in, in knowing about. Um, and uh, then uh, sometimes a lot of stories come across my desk as an editor. People email me or I get phone calls. Um, and so uh, when I get um, stories that come across my desk, we discuss those stories and um, uh, determine you know, what might make good stories. And then some of those stories I might assign to a, to a reporter uh, to investigate and write about. I think just informing people about uh, the world that they live in, what's going on in the world. Um, I think for a lot of people, we're the window to their world. So, uh, and I get to uh, tell people about other people, stories they may not necessarily hear or, or get to read if it weren't for uh, the newspaper. I'd like to think that I, I play a pretty in, you know, integral part in it. I uh, cover a lot of different areas in the paper. I, uh, I write columns. I also cover religion. I do general assignment, and I also uh, help out with the editorial uh, section, so I have a lot of knives in the air. I'm pretty much a, a free agent. I, I, uh, I kind of fly my own plane, um, which is kind of nice. Um, I guess they trust me enough to, to think I can get the job done. So, <laughs> um, But, uh, you know, there's, also, there's constant interaction in the newsroom. Um, I'm, also, I'm always constantly talking to other reporters about what they're doing, and and having them look at what I'm doing, and so, uh, and, and talking to editors, of course. So, um, there's always, always interaction. Editors and reporters work to put the news stories in the paper, while other key staff members work editing copy, and laying out or designing what the page will look like in the newspaper. Another part of the newspaper process is adding graphics or illustrations to go along with the written story. It complements the reporting in the newspaper. I'm Michael Wise. I am the associate editor for graphics here at the repository. I do, it's our responsibility to produce elements for design uh, for the news, newsroom. That includes sports, that includes uh, lifestyle pages. Um, and by elements I mean graphics. We do maps, we do charts, we do uh, infographics. And my favorite is uh, illustrations. I have a fellow coworker, Bob Cast, who is right now working on a large-scale infographic on the Dover Dam. Uh, they're going to be doing some uh, re, um, remodeling to it and upgrades to it. So he's doing a large-scale infographic where he's taking it and literally slicing it in half, so that you can do, you can see the inside working of the dam. Plus, you're going to see how they're going to make the improvements to it. So it's pretty interesting and pretty involved. After the paper is put together, the final version is sent to the printing press where massive machinery cranks out thousands of newspapers. Then the newspapers are bundled and delivered to neighborhood paper boys who make sure the paper gets to a customer's front door. Papers are also needed to get to other locations in the area. I'm the single copy manager uh, in the circulation department, which means I'm in charge of sales out of uh, stores and uh, vending boxes. Uh, that you see on the streets. I am in charge of uh, uh, increasing as much as possible the sales out of those uh, venues and also the, the collection of money from, uh, from our retail partners and uh, the, the making sure that the papers get to the locations uh, when the customers want them. There's more to the newspaper than just printing and selling newspapers. The repository is a corporation that wants to be involved in its community. My role is primarily for um, community events, branding, and community relations for the paper. We're a pretty large employer here in Stark County, so there's a lot of things that go on beyond the walls here at the repository. 
Um, so I make sure that you know repository and our other papers have a voice in those um, community events or projects. And then we also actually put on events that tie back to our product. I work daily with the advertising sales representatives and we've got about 20 of those people. They handle different geographic areas or maybe specific categories of business. I work with the general manager and senior vice president of sales and marketing. He really is the person that oversees all the sales for all of our newspapers, our magazine, our websites. I'll work with the individual managers, people that are in charge of our magazine, people that are just in charge of sales for our website, uh, people that are just in charge of sales for the direct mail piece. Um, I also work with the publisher. Uh, my job many times is to make sure that the repository and our other papers are involved in the community, have a voice in the community. So I work very closely with the publisher to make sure we're at all the right places and that we're doing all the right things. 